Uh, vitiligo is thought to be an autoimmune disease, which means that you have your own inflammatory cells are actually attacking your uh, melanocytes in the skin and then causing them to lose the pigmentation. And now we have narrowband UVB, which is a safer uh, wavelength that doesn't cause the same UVB damage we see with uh, the sun. Uh, they can do this more frequently, longer, and have much less side effects and not have this photosensitivity. It can be used in children and in pregnancy as well. Uh, we are able to deliver that at West Houston Dermatology with uh, both the eczema laser and our photo uh, booth, which is a UVB narrowband booth. Uh, this allows us to be able to enhance our treatments, uh, not just topically, but also to provide phototherapy, uh, which will then uh, repigment these people much quicker. The extract laser is one of the newer uh, devices, and we're able to uh, do treatments usually two days apart. You can do it three times a week or two times a week, never on consecutive days. And the laser is thought to work by the light goes through the skin and attacks the T cells, which are the inflammatory cells, which are causing the loss of the pigment. By doing that, then you eliminate that pigment. You're then allowing the body then to use its natural mechanisms to repigment. And the UVB also, just like it does in anybody else, kind of tans you back and causes follicular repigmentation. So we actually see nice repigmentation throughout these plaques. These treatments are very easy to tolerate. Uh, they take about five minutes. They need to be done anywhere from two to three times a week, not on consecutive days. Uh, patients will come into the office, uh, have the areas treated. Uh, there's really no discomfort. There may be a little bit of erythema following or redness following the treatment but it's very well tolerated and covered by uh, many insurance companies.